What's good, Explicit Critics here. We're about to review your mom's favorite type of party. You want to guess what it is? Fact yes. Whore in the back. A party in my pants. Close, but no. Sausage party. So if you didn't already figure it out, we saw Sausage Party and it was Johnny Boy's Man. one of those movies that you either are going to love or hate or just laugh at it for no reason. <laughs> but we're just here to review it, so if you like it, whatever, subscribe and do all that shit. So what did you guys think of the movie? <laughs> it was <laughs> <Your face. laughs> I want to say so many no, things I, and come aside. <laughs> I want to hear what Mooks has to say first. It it was punny. It was punny. Very punny. How much did you like it? It was very entertaining for some parts, and then it was just like, what the fuck? Because it just, it just like. Are you jumping to the end? No, no, no. Oh, I'm okay. saying like the movie like. There was some parts where it was like, oh, this is funny. And then it's like, oh, where are they going with this? And then it's like... Nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> like, if they would have cleaned up the story a little bit, actually had like... I don't know what's fucking story. I, I feel like this is... I don't know. It was... The plot was kind of like, eh. And then at times they just threw some random stuff in there. But did you really expect a plot? Yeah, exactly. So that's that kind but of that, that's probably why I'm mad. I'd rather them just have like a whole bunch of... Nonsense? Yeah, like basic... Like some parts were nonsense. I feel excluding. like yeah, the whole movie was basically nonsense. It's just it had to go somewhere. Like I, I feel like I after they it. after they came up with all the gags that they could do, they're like fuck. Oh, fuck. Like we're not. So what's more stuff we put in here so we can put more gags in? Like that's I feel like that's all it was. The movie had like a lot of really funny parts, and then it had just some. There was like okay, that's not that funny. But some of the parts that were funny were really funny. I feel like the most funny parts were the most racist parts. Like the typical like stereotypes yeah. and like the oh, social commentary, goodness. that shit was fucking funny. Yeah, and they put some like real stuff but pertaining to food. It was like they mm -hmm. like, like fit into the actual <laughs> world. Yeah, and, that was nice how they did that. that. Was funny. That's mainly what I was laughing. The whole Arab shit. That was that shit was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole like Middle East division oh, shit was fuck. that was hilarious. Was really smart. <laughs> and like the whole God thing, that was like mm -hmm. the, the same parallel to the real world. Like mm -hmm. yeah. there's no evidence. Well, yeah. So this is like a whole bunch of real shit. Yeah. So I think there was actually some brilliance in this movie, but. Then there was just like stupid humor. Like these people that are laughing at it, you could tell they were super dumb. It was like kids that want edgy humor. It's like that kind of stuff. Like just, let's just throw in a cuss word like every two seconds and they'll laugh. Like that's not fucking funny. That I'll say the first five minutes of the movie, I was that shit was so dumb to me. Yeah. It was kinda... so dumb. It's like yo. You throwing in cuss words, and that's coming from me, probably the person that cusses the most on the couch. Like, probably. you don't, well, okay, <laughs> definitely. But literally, they were really? throwing in cuss words, like, where there was no reason for them to be throwing it in. First five minutes were, first ten minutes were kind of... And that, yeah, that whole Seth Rogen type of humor where, like, oh, yeah, fuck, man, fuck. It's like, that's not funny at all. Like, but it was them. They're characters that they play in other movies, just in animated form. But he's always himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. but there's been better performances. From like, 50-50. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. But yeah, it was just, just images of them. That's basically what it was. It was just him and his whole crew yeah. making another movie. Except this time that wasn't like James Franco wasn't in it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he was. He would have been nice in this movie, though. But there was a lot of like I didn't even know the motherfucker. The bagel was Edward Norton. Yeah, I saw the bagel. I thought they threw that. No, in there. no, that, that's definitely true. He's good at fucking yeah, making good. his voice. Yeah, 
It's just I would have never thought of that until know. they fucking threw that shit in there, so that was pretty good. Okay. What did you think of it, Johnny Boy? It was okay. Uh, didn't care for the end. And then I think that some of the jokes were whatever. They were kind of lame. Um, I don't think you needed to pay attention to the whole movie to understand the story, so... I mean, that's a plus and a negative, I guess, at the same time. But that's what I thought of it. I fell asleep. I'm not sure for how long I fell asleep. But I woke up and wasn't really confused at all. I feel like this movie, if you're going to see it, you're probably going to like it. Yeah. I felt like 90% of the audience in there really liked it. Yeah, they fucking clapped. Which I can't believe that shit. Like, really? I mean, it wasn't that fucking good. I just, I feel like people, like, they, that's what they want in movies. They're like, yes, as vulgar as you can make it, do that shit. And we'll talk about that whole end scene shit fuck once we get to spoilers. Alright, like, we're gonna go to yeah, spoilers. Fuck that. We fuck that. About that. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Is so this... at the end, there's just, we're gonna skip through the whole movie. Fuck at the end, like, they just have a big orgy. Fuck and fuck, everyone just fucks orgy. everybody. And it was gay as fuck. Yo. That's what I had it. <laughs> yeah, it was I know so everybody, gay. or not everybody, but a lot of our viewers will probably hate me saying this, but literally there was way too much gay shit in this movie. Like there was way too much gay jokes and then like gay visuals. <laughs> like fuck, man. The like and yeah, it's food, so it's not like the same thing, but that end scene was like, fuck. yo, I didn't even want to watch that they shit. Fucking it <laughs> They like pulled out everything. They Shit, really did. yeah. They, they pulled did. out everything for they, that. The whole fucking the whole store. The the uh, the <laughs> one scene with the 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 hot dog. The oh, the hot dog went through, through the, bagel, the bagel, through his bitch, through the bun, and then, and then he's while blowing the, the while blowing blowing the. But then that uh, dude was like his. Oh, I was fuck. Like, what the fuck? Like, they they took some time on that motherfucking but shit. Was, it was a, I feel like that they were trying to make. I don't know, but. Like a whole food orgy, like I know that's like what it was, but like I thought that was like a thing, but it's it's different. Yeah. It's, but it wouldn't be like that, like obviously, but Unless, something like if, if it's a play. Is it food orgy, that's I, a thing. A food orgy. Is a no, thing? like not like <laughs> having fucking orgasm, but it's just like like yeah. a saying or something. Like, I don't know, like. That's a, that's the saying. Like. I feel I feel like that's what it was kind of like kind of relating to in a way. Because they took it to like every extreme. They had the fetish. They had like I, fucking. Yeah, I think what she's saying is, like, because they're not the same as humans, they had to like do certain things with the food that would translate to fetishes that humans have. Oh okay. No, she's That's saying no. Food. She's okay. saying there is a thing like a like a food like a f food, food orgasm. orgasm. But it's not that. And then it's a play. What the oh, fuck? food orgasm. So it's I it's like, like a play on the food gasm, and then... But they played it out to a, a human spectrum. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense, too. That's, well, that's, what, that's, that's a what fucking thing? Saying. I've heard of food gasms. Okay. It's like, oh, this fucking food's so good, it's like... I'm like, like you do a mouth gasm. That's okay, what I'm that's fucking retarded. That I mean, has nothing to do with an orgy. But, what? I see that no literally had, it's not, that it's has a, nothing to do with an orgy. That's like anything. Like, when we're watching a good trailer, like, oh, fuck, that's so... not. You can say that about anything, so that had nothing to do with that scene. No, I, I don't disagree no. with it. I, okay, I, I, I see where I, I see where the thought process is, and I can see where if they could take it in that direction. Because I don't know it's right. I feel like see they went like, like way it. too far, like especially yeah, when like grab the 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 flappy whatever yeah. the fuck it was, like his balls and put it over. Yeah, his but eyes. okay, but no, a lot of that shit is like. It, it translates directly to fucking real life. Okay, but still, and then what if, like, when they're sitting down, like, I felt like they were just be, like, just throwing ideas in place, and you're like, oh, you know, food tastes so good, and it's like an orgasm in your mouth, and they're like, oh, we should make a whole bunch of food, have, like, a food orgy, and do all sorts of shit. Like, I feel I like feel that's... Like what I mean, always on some gay shit, too. I'm, yeah, he really is. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i glad you think that. Not, I'm glad fine. you think I that. Really I just care. don't think that you... It, the way she the, just said it, that sounds like something Seth Rogen would say. What? What she just said, oh, let's have a food orgasm, let's have him just do a whole big orgy. 
No, I get that. I get, I totally get that. But what I'm saying is like the specific things that they were showing, it were wasn't just graphic. like, yeah. They, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they were like, I but, thought, but they were doing it like, they weren't just coming up with random shit. They were basing it off of real shit and then taking it to the next level because food can do other shit that humans can't do. I feel like we're saying almost the same thing. You're just saying it in more of a just basic. I'm saying it in more of a basic. Like you're, you're basic saying basic it shit. like just straight <laughs> on. But it's like I'm saying the same thing, but it's just like I'm saying it coming from a place where it's like, oh, they're taking... Um, an illustrated part what can be described as something and then they're going to expand it to the wide variety of what it can be because they're like oh a food orgasm oh let's have some gay shit oh let's have like a fucking foursome and have someone going through shit like let's have a fucking wiener going through every piece of bread and like, oh let's pull some pearls out of someone's ass like a wiener ass and all that stuff that's yes. what I think they're going for but it's just like okay well let's make it to the extreme because they can start with a basic structure and she then expand more creativity. so that's what I'm saying but I feel like we're saying the same <laughs> thing but you're just saying oh no that's not what they're saying but then you say exactly what he I just said, said. It was too real. Like, it was coming from reality to food. But the whole movie was food being reality. I feel like all the background stuff Shit, was more funny than so more scenes mm -hmm. of the movie. Because when they were in the, like, little, the, like, teepee hut, or, like, the back alley. Mm -hmm. like, between shelves. The, yeah, between shelves. It was, like, in the background was, like, different references to, to... Indian or Native American movies, like they had dances with wolves, but it was dances with. Uh, oh yeah, they had a lot of shit. Or something no, like no, that. no, it wasn't waffles. Fuck, what was it? It was. So, it was. Fuck, it was and funny they had, like, too. A, they had like a play on Pocahontas, <laughs> but I could. <laughs> can't remember what it was. There was a lot of shit in there. It's pretty funny. Well, like when they. Yeah, now I'm mad. I can't remember. When the was. guy, when they were, they went to see the 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 non perishables, and he's mm -hmm. talking about like, oh, we construct this song like this, and then it's like. We hate the juice. He's like, we don't hate the juice. <laughs> yeah, like, hate all the juice. like those juice is funny. <laughs> like so, like when they did those like puns and plays on sh shit like that, that was good. Well, yeah, that whole song was like a perfect critique on religion. Cause I'm, I'm all the way around. I'm, yeah, but I'm sure that's what it's supposed to be. Like everybody believes in something else, and then they said they fit the lyrics to like what they believed in. I feel like that's the most religion. And then people took it and fucked it all up. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was one of the funniest characters in the movie. Yeah, Firewater. Was, was that the guy from... Because he sounded... Oh, I don't know what the actor was, but he sounded like Ferris Bueller's best friend. Oh, I don't think it's him. But he sounds like him when he makes that voice, so I thought that was him, but maybe not. There, I mean, to be honest, there was a lot of really funny parts in the movie. It's just... There was some parts that like down downweighed the movie though, just because they were whack, <laughs> or just over the top for the sake of being over the top, which I hate. Mm -hmm. Part I hated was after the whole orgy shit. They like it was like what the fuck did I just see, and then <laughs> right after that they confirmed they were like oh yeah you saw what you just saw, when the fucking oh, I can't repeat that's fucking so, it was so gay when what the the fucking. Oh, I think it was like, yeah. oh, it's still fucking hard. Like, it's like, oh, my ass would love that story. Whatever. Oh, it was so gay. Yeah, there was. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Oh, and the bath salt thing. Tip. <laughs> With they had the fucking oh, that full the toothpicks. In... They they shot them toothpicks with some fucking force. Yeah. That shit like went in through yeah. fucking clothes. And skin, like punctured skin. And the cashier had a gun. <laughs> A revolver? <laughs> Why the fuck did he have a revolver? And I thought he shot himself in the head. I he thought he did too! To and, and I was like, oh, he must have missed. But it was like... Point blank. Yeah, that was... Yeah. But yeah, we can score it. We can score it. And how the fuck did... How did he just like let the douche unzip his pants and... Yep. Rape him. Yes. Yeah. Probe his ass. All right, Johnny boy. Five point seven. So you thought it was pretty shitty. I mean, I I took it down a lot of points for the gay shit and the orgy shit. All right. We're gonna lose like eight hundred subscribers. I'm gonna give it a fucking seven, because I think there's there's some 
pretty smart shit in this as far as clever. Like, like I said, the social commentary was pretty smart. It's just, those were the highlights of the movie. That's why what? That's why I go before you. So That's why I threw you. mine out just yeah. in case. I'm still fucking... <laughs> uh, I'll throw mine out real quick. If you like movies that just like push the boundary and just go into like the most graphic and explicit stuff they can get away with for that rating, then you'll like this movie. And if you like juvenile humor, you'll like this movie. It's just... I don't like movies that try to just push the boundary for the sake of pushing the boundary, and that's what I felt like this movie did. What do you consider juvenile humor? Like ninety percent of the humor they made. Like a lot of the jokes in there were like it's child humor, which is like farts and poop jokes. And it was a step above that because it's adult like content. Adult kid humor. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like shit that's funny to middle school kids. Yeah, exactly. Because they're like just discovering it, and it's like they just can get into R rated movies. Yeah. Or they snuck in, and yeah. So I give it a seven because it wasn't bad. It's just it it definitely could have been like I don't want to say it could be less vulgar. It's just they could have made it a lot less like they were trying to like be so vulgar, and that's what they were. As you could tell within the first five minutes. It's like we're trying to do this kind of movie, and then they proved it in the last fucking orgy scene. And they broke. The I can't ball. even believe. Yeah, they broke the I ball. can't even believe they got away with that orgy scene. Yeah, I was yeah. surprised too. <sighs> Damn. Like, I feel like the, uh, what's it called? The MPAA or whoever the fuck rates these shits was just like, whatever. We'll look the other way. Because, like, <laughs> there's no way they should have got away with that in an R rated movie. No. Like, I don't give a fuck if it's food it's, or not. It's gotta like, be because it was food. Yeah, it has to I be. I know, food. but, like, it shouldn't have mattered. Like the sounds because they were making anyone, and everything. Anyone with was like still any accurate. amount of sense. Oh my god. Or like <laughs> anything fucking, like you instantly put everything together. The fucking beat. But it's literally like, this stuff. Oh my god. Okay, it was actually super accurate. Yeah. Like like you like it That's what looked I'm like you human bodies too. Put it like together. it's like how it doesn't matter if they're food, like it just looks like they're in like costumes doing the real shit. It was a Oops. den of debauchery in those few minutes. It was just fuck. I'ma get it. I ain't gonna get it, sir. But I think I found it more funny. Like the only Yeah, you fucking laughed I was a lot. <laughs> dying because I caught so much crap that was freaking hilarious. There was a lot of shit to catch. Like I feel like if you view it a few more times, you'll catch more you'll and catch more, more shit. Stuff. So I'm gonna get a seven point five. Cause the yeah, only problem I, I to switch to seven point five. The only problem I really had with the movie is that orgy scene, but well, that's the only problem. It was like bored, and oh, I just felt like it was a good con. The concept was freaking funny as fuck. Yeah, it was a great concept. But most of the the really sexual. Food porn movie or food porn shit was ridiculous. <laughs> As, yeah, it was fucking weird. Yeah, ridiculously fucking gay. Ridiculous? Is that a gay term? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be all right at first, cause I thought it was gonna be a fucking hot dog in the bun. But then, like, right away, they jumped into it with the gay shit. Like, right after. What do you mean? I get the start? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but And then he was like, like, no, babe, I'm over here. Oh, but, but then they just pulled out gay shit, like, whenever they could. Like, the whole fucking bagel and whatever the fuck that flappy shit was. I didn't even know what that was. Yo, that literally came out of nowhere. Yeah. But, like, yeah. what the fuck? Why did you even throw that in there? That's just so they could set it off for the fucking horn yeah. speak. Like, fuck. It's like it. Hot dog and bun are gonna do it. We don't have no. If you here. if you we're haven't seen this movie and we're talking about it this much, it's even more than what we're like. Oh, there's you know. a lot of shit. It's a scene. long scene. It's too. a long scene. Like I was scene. amazed that I was seeing this like on the big screen. Like I was amazed, and then I was amazed even more that it kept going. It was like <laughs> and like yeah. It so what the fuck? So like, what the much. fuck? And it was a. I fe it felt like freaking twenty minutes of you just sitting there like. Watching food, fuck. Oh, yeah, but fuck. then everybody in the theater is laughing. I'm like, really? This shit? Nah. 
Like, everybody was dying. I feel like that was the most laughs I heard in the theater. God damn. Like, all the... <laughs> like, if anyone brought their kids to that shit... I saw kids in there. They're, they're, they're probably like... They're, like, scarred. <laughs> yeah, they probably already were. If their fucking parents were taking them. Alright, what's your score? He scored it. You? you scored it. Oh, six. Just because I got bored. So, yeah, you did fall asleep. Yeah, but like, I, I was tired. Was tired I though. was tired, but I, like after the initial start of the movie, okay, after they fell out of the cart, I I kind of got bored. Whoa! I, the when the flower fell, <laughs> that was cool. That crap was funny. The flower. Fell. When the flower exploded, it was like like the aftermath. Yeah, like ee- that was really like, good. Oh. That was really good. That was like um. <laughs> What's that one movie? Fucking Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, they yeah, took yeah. it like almost directly yeah, from yeah. that fucking scene. That like peanut butter and jelly. That shit yeah. had me real. Like I, all that part was cool. See, like, that was all really smart though because they did it almost exactly like you could do it with food because like the face peeling off the banana and shit and the dude picking up the other side of his uh, waffle. Like that was really, that was really Wasn't funny. that a cookie? That, that was, was an Oreo. Oreo. Yeah. Was it an Oreo? That was a was cookie. A waffle? Yes, it was a cookie? Oreos are Oreos cookies. Oreos are fucking cookies. Yo, not you, a waffle. Oh, everybody, see this fucking cookie <laughs> and then get on this nigga because you don't know a waffle from a fucking Oreo cookie. And what waffle do you put together? What? Well, well, I, there were no freaking no, waffles right. or pancakes in the whole movie. No, but I know what you're... Like, yeah, yeah, what waffle That's was? what it fucking looked like to me. I didn't fucking... see any white shit in there. It was on the back side of the fucking fucking The, fucking fucking yeah. the front was side black. was black, and he picked up the other it black side, black and his back was white. Didn't you didn't see the blackness? I had black waffles when I fucking burned those shits. This motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I got bored and never fucking wandered around the store, and that's when I dozed off. After, after they went to the Mexican spot with the fucking tequila. Jose Corvo. Yeah. And then after, <laughs> after they escaped through that crack from the douche, then I dozed off. I feel like if they would have focused more on the story, even though that wasn't what we wanted to like see, it would have been cool. Because like him exploring the aisles, like I thought that, that was a was cool, cool concept. That was cool. Like, they could because they already had a lot of, like, puns, like, him traveling over to, like, the knife aisle. That was cool. Like, it would have been dark, cool if, like, yeah. But just the different aisles, that, that was cool. That was a cool concept. Of course, fucking liquor aisles having a goddamn party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I killed, my, I've killed so many of your family. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pizza genocide. Legs? Want to talk about Legs? I think I dozed off on that part. There's a lot of like one shot funny parts. Yeah. Like if, yeah. Mr. Gritz was funny. Stereotypical black dude. Like old No, because he was doing some gay shit. Yep. Yeah, that's true. With the, he was. That's because everybody was doing some gay shit. That's why it was such a dumb fucking scene. Like everybody that was straight just turned gay for that scene. Well, like the rest of the Twinkie. No. no, he was faggot as fuck. Exactly. Did you see him getting railed he's, in the ass? He was, he was, he was, was the gay one. He didn't turn gay. He was oh, that's what he was saying. He was already gay. Yeah, saying. but there's already a lot of gay. He was <laughs> so <laughs> gay. <laughs> he went, <laughs> when, when the fucking... When the uh, fire water... Fire water was like, oh, it makes you feel like fucking a man. Or whatever he said. Yeah. And then he turns and he's like, you know what I'm saying? And the only one that's shaking his head is the Twinkie. <laughs> He said that shit twice. Yeah, he did. No, at the end. Yeah. But I, the first time he looked at everybody and Twinkie was like, yes. Everybody should have been like, yes. They couldn't get that shit away, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that's yeah, like, that was like a fucking... Also, the pot thing, kind of. It's like, why the heck are, is food oh, smoking? It would have been pot. funny, like, right before that fucking huge orgy scene to have like M. Night Shyamalan come in like what a twist and everybody's gay cause like it came out of fucking nowhere that's true that was it's, M. Night Shyamalan Shyamalan ding dong thing it's like dudes that acted totally straight the whole fucking movie were like jacking each other off and I was like like the Mr. Grits what did he fucking do he started like sucking was, somebody or jacking somebody yeah, yeah. fuck man. and then he fucked the shit out of them crackers Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah! The fucking crackers was flying out of the top. <laughs> oh man! They, 
Yeah, they had a lot of good puns, though. Just like he said. Fuck them crackers. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck them crackers. That was funny. Only, only because it was like, black people fuck white girls. Yeah, that was funny. Alright, so that's our review. If you like this kind of stuff, then I would suggest you go see it. Even though I rated it so low, I wouldn't tell you not to go see it. I would yeah. tell you to go see it with a caution of the last 20 minutes. Just so I can be prepared. We're mm -hmm. called explicit mm -hmm. critics and we're telling you that. <laughs> yeah. So, shit. But I, I don't know. I feel like people like that shit. It's just, if you're, if you, I mean, if, if you're just, down with that gay shit, you'll love it. Like, <laughs> like speaking to the masses here, it's like, we may be talking to those people that like that shit. Yeah. But I'm trying to I tell mean, people probably that, are. Yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. like that shit. Like, hey, yeah. watch the fuck out. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. It's a solid, I want to say, seven minutes. Honestly, it was probably like a minute and a half. Yeah, it, was okay. it probably was. felt long, long as <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get this long dick <laughs> <Exactly>, bag. <laughs> Alright, explicit critics. Wooks! How the fuck are you gonna tell me Havoc is introducing Scott Summers to the fucking X-Men? Oh, they're not even into that. They're not even X-Men in this movie. It's like a first <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, the X-Men were dead, but we're gonna bring them back. And Mystique can catch a dick! <laughs> she did not do that. Yo, this gay motherfucker. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the dick! <laughs> <laughs> Like a message, yeah, yeah. like, and that's what fit even better with the, with the sample. The sample.